Hi, if you're watching this you probably wanna get into K-pop, or you're like me and already a K-pop stan but you watch these videos anyways. No matter what, hello, my name is Serendipity and I'm gonna teach you the basics of K-pop. I'm gonna try to make this as diverse as possible but I am more of a girl group stan so this might be a bit biased. Let's start with the basics. K-pop is Korean pop. While it has pop in the name it's actually more of an umbrella term for lots of other genres. When you think of K-pop you may think of Open Gangnam Style Gangnam Style Or even And yes those are both great K-pop songs. However, K-pop has a lot more to offer as well. Here are some other great K-pop songs. Now, you may wonder how you can possibly enjoy K-pop when you can't even understand what they're saying. Well my friend, there are things like subtitles, lyric videos, or just googling the lyrics. Now let's explore how K-pop works. To get into the industry, idols are either scouted or auditioned for companies. These companies train them, produce music, help with choreography, and aid with promotions. Although some companies are better than other. In K-pop there are three big companies known as the Big Three. They're the biggest companies in the industry and tend to produce the most successful groups and soloists. The Big Three companies are SM Entertainment, the most successful company in the industry. SM is home to groups like Red Velvet, NCT, Super Junior, Girls' Generation, TVXQ, and EXO. The next company is JYP. JYP is home to groups like Stray Kids, GOT7, Wonder Girls, Twice, Miss A, and Itzy. Lastly there is YG Entertainment, home to Blackpink, Big Bang, 21, Icon, and Winner. Here are some other pretty big companies. In K-pop, different groups and time periods can be broken down into generations. The first generation started with So Taeji and Boys. It started in the early 90s and ended sometime in the early 2000s. Some notable groups from this time are The second generation started in the early 2000s and ended somewhere around 2013. 
This generation saw the birth of the first Big Three Holy Trinity. The first Holy Trinity consisted of YG Entertainment's 21. JYP Entertainment's Wonder Girls and SM Entertainment's Girls Generation. This generation was the beginning of the Hallyu wave, the spread of Korean culture to other countries. Some other notable groups of this generation are EXO, 4 Minute. F. X. Miss A. Sistar. A Pink. Super Junior. TVXQ. Boa. And Shiny. Now the third generation is the generation you are probably most familiar with. It began around 2013 and ended sometime in 2018-2019. This generation is often credited with blowing K-pop up in America. This generation has another holy trinity of big three girl groups with YG's Blackpink. <laughs> JYP's Twice and SM's Red Velvet Some other notable groups of this generation are G-Friend, CLC, Mamamoo, NCT, and Monsta X. Of course I cannot talk about this generation without talking about the legendary boy group BTS. They are the most notable and popular group from the third generation, from Big Hit Entertainment, a previously small company that has since grown significantly from BTS's success. Now, the line between the third and fourth generation of K-pop is a bit blurry. The third generation seemed to have ended around 2018-19 but the line is not very clear. Some groups that are considered fourth generation are ITZY, G, IDOL, TXT, LUNA. Stray Kids, Very Very, ETs, and Everglow. Although some of these groups debuted early enough that many people consider them very late third generation. Now, K-pop is a multifaceted genre, meaning the music isn't the only important part. It's a very performance-based industry. The music is extremely important, but so are looks, the choreography, and the aesthetic or stage presence. Almost every K-pop title track and sometimes B-sides, has unique choreography. Here are some of my favorites. And yes, it seems impossible, but they do sing live vocals. Obviously, they sing over a backing track but that doesn't erase their vocal talent at all. Depending on the choreography, the volume of the backing track will be different. There are also a couple standard concepts in K-pop, and while these are only a few concepts these are some of the most common. Cute. Girl Crush Intense. Or even rock. Or 
Of course, a group's concept doesn't always stay the same. And some groups have more unique concepts, like Red Velvet. Their concept is their name. Their red songs are bright and bubbly and fun. They have more of a pop influence. And Velvet is more mature and has more of an R&B influence. In K-pop, there are different positions. There is the leader, Makne, vocalist, dancer, visual, center face of the groove, and rapper. There is the main and lead as well. The main of any position tend to be the best in the groove. They tend to be the strongest in that category. Lead is usually the second best in whatever position. Some examples of main vocalists are... Main dancers. Main rappers. The visual position is a unique one. The visual is the prettiest one. They're the one the company think fits the Korean standard for beauty the most. Although all K-pop idols are gorgeous, the center of the group is often the most notable or charismatic member of the group as well. The leader of the group often keeps the group in check and leads things like group introductions. Hi, nice to meet you. My name is RM. I'm the leader of this group and kind of like a spokesperson. Yay! Two, three, all in us. Hi, we are Itzy. The Maknae is the youngest member of the group. While this video has mostly been groups, 
Of course there are solo artists in the industry as well. Many soloists have origins in groups but after disbandment went solo. They are amazing by themselves and currently killing the game. Some soloists are Take a flow shower And a lot of idols release solo songs or have solo personas while still in their groups. In K-pop there are also things called subunits. Subunits are a smaller group formed from a larger group. They have separate music releases and often different concepts. Lastly, let's go over some basic K-pop terminology that will aid you on your K-pop journey. A bias is generally your favorite member of the group, the member that stands out to you the most. A stan is someone who really likes or has a special interest in a group. Eggyo is acting cute or the act of acting cute. So back. Yeah. An all kill is when an artist gets the number one spot on all eight big Korean music charts. A comeback is when a group releases a new song and promotes it. A fan chant is when fans yell the names of the members, or certain words during a performance. A killing part is the big famous part from a song or dance. A light stick is exactly what it sounds like. It's a stick with a light on the end and a pretty design. Although there are some exceptions groups get them and fans bring them to concerts to wave. Most light sticks change and blink in sync with the concert they're a big part of the concert experience as groups use them to do lots of things. <laughs>